spirit because they would think they're their friend. Mind blowing. I'm not going to touch a single leaf. Hello everyone. So today's Halloween. Um, I thought maybe we could do or try to do like a vlog type situation. <laughs> um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I remember to like turn the camera on and I don't know. I just thought maybe I'd bring you guys along with me throughout the day today. Um, happy Halloween. I hope you all have an amazing day. This probably won't go up on Halloween, but nevertheless, it's Halloween week, so enjoy it. Um, I have a lot to do today before the kids get home from school. I'm out of breath because I just took um, my middle child to his bus and it was already there when we were walking up, so we had to run, <laughs> but he made it. Um, so yeah, I figured we would just spend the day together. Maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah, once I figure out what I'm going to do first, I will pick you guys back up. I have a lot to do, like I said. I also have a Scentsy haul that I've been meaning to do. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, so I might just include that in this video. We'll see. Johnny. Okay, so I got these nails to wear for Halloween. Um, my husband and I are dressing up as vampires, so I thought these would be pretty perfect for that, but... They're very long. We'll see how long I can stand them. But I figured I would get those done first so I don't have to worry about getting it done later. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to turn on a scary movie. Well, I mean, probably Halloween. <laughs> but I'm going to turn on Halloween, um, get these nails on. I need to take this polish off. Um, and then I'll come back and show you guys the result. Okay, so I did my nails. <laughs> um, not super practical. Um, and honestly, I don't know why I glued them on. I should have just used the sticky things that they come with. So then I could just pop them off at the end of the night. But I glued them on. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to soak them probably after trick or treat because... I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with these on. And then I remember that I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. And I don't know if I want to go in there with vampire nails. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, I mean, I love them for Halloween for my costume. So, they're pretty cool. I don't know if you can tell. They're like red and black. Um, but, yeah. I like them. I'm just looking back, I should have not glued them. Anyway, so now I think I'm just going to clean up the living room. I have laundry to fold. I need to, well here, let me just um, show you. I'll turn you around. So yeah, I have laundry to fold, laundry to put away, shower curtain liner to hang up, Scentsy box to unpack. I need to clean up the coffee table, um, put all these shoes where they belong, and then the living room will be ready for Halloween. <laughs> Not that it has to be ready, but I just, this gives me anxiety. So having this cleaned up will just make the day go much more smoothly. So I'm going to prop you guys up, get this living room cleaned up, and then we'll move on to the next task for the day.
up the living room. Um, pretty much, I could like sweep the floor or whatever, but it's fine. Um, so why don't we just go through the Scentsy box quickly so I can get it out of here. Um, yeah, we'll do that next. Let me see if I can sit you here. How's that? Okay. Hopefully you don't fall over. All right, so I did open everything. Oh, oops. <laughs> okay, I did open everything. Um, yeah, it's been sitting here for a while. I mean, you guys know, um, most of you know that I just had a rough week last week, so I didn't get to this. Um, but let me, I'm starting to work up a sweat. I'm just gonna grab from what I see first. So this was from the Scentsy Flash sale a few weeks ago. It shipped very quickly. Um, they said it could take up to 21 days to ship. It did not. Mine shipped in like a few days, like less than a week. So yeah, they did really well. The flash sale, flash sale, I think lasted for, I don't know, a couple hours at the most. They had really good deals. Everything was super cheap. Um, so they went through their like allotted flash sale product very quickly, but luckily I was able to get on right when it went live. Um, a few things did hop out of my cart. I had some black forest pine room spray and some autumn road trip dish soap, I think in my cart that hopped out before I could check out. But I mean, that's to be expected with these kinds of sales. So super happy with what I was able to pick up. Um, I know it's kind of an odd time of day. They do it at like, I don't know, was it like 11 a.m. on the East Coast during the week? So, I mean, a lot of people are at work, um, but I don't know. Obviously, a lot of people are still able to get on. It's, sometimes I'm just confused by Sensi's like launch times. Like they do some midnight Pacific Standard Time launch times and that's 3 a.m. here on the East Coast and I just there have been times where I set my alarm I got up and I got orders in but at this point I don't know it would have to be something like insanely special for me to want to do that um, anyway so the first thing I grabbed was this I don't know if I'm gonna open it the Santa slumber warmer I might just put a picture somewhere um this i do love this warmer i had it in my cart and then i was like you know what i don't really need that i have one i have this warmer i love it and it was 11 dollars. put it in my cart and then i was like i don't need that i need to take a couple things out um and i forgot <laughs> to take this out before i checked out so i ended up with one anyway i don't know if i'm gonna keep this or gift it or maybe just give it to my mom like I said, I do have one and do I really need two? I, I remember putting it in my cart because I was like, I would like to have a backup of that one in case something happens to mine because I do really love this warmer. I think it's beautiful. It's like one of my favorite Christmas warmers um, ever from Scentsy. So I do really like it, but did I really need it? Probably not. So there's that. Sorry if you hear my couch squeaking every time I move. Um, okay, these are just empty bags. I grabbed two of, ouch, these nails are going to be the death of me. I grabbed two of the Lock, Shock, and Barrel mini warmers. Um, these were $3, so I couldn't not grab these. I do have one. It's in my kid's bathroom, um, so I figured having a couple more on hand couldn't hurt. I'll probably end up giving one to my mother-in-law for Christmas. I think last year I gave her the mini like Jack Skellington warmer. Um, so I might give her that one this year and then either figure out someone to give this to or just have it on hand. Um, like again, in case something happens to the one that I'm already using. Um, there are more warmers, but there's other stuff on top of them. Well, 
Let me just get the warmers out since we've been talking about the warmers. Um, I feel like I'm getting a cold. Hopefully not. It might just be from the weather, but okay. So I grabbed four of these Spirit of Joy mini warmers. Again, I'm not going to open them first of all, because I don't know if I can with these nails on. Um, but yeah, I grabbed four of the Spirit of Joy mini warmers for teacher gifts. Um, well, for my daughter, we do a nurse gift because she has so many teachers. I tell her if she wants to do like cards for her teachers, she can, but she's in middle school. So she has a lot of teachers and I can't buy gifts for all of them. So we do a nurse gift. Um, I've mentioned before my daughter has type one diabetes. So, you know, we really appreciate everything the nurse does for her at our school. So, um, we have a nurse gift for my daughter, but then my boys, um, I got three for their teacher gifts because my 10 year old has two like main teachers and my youngest just has one main teacher. So I picked up four of those. They were $4. I think, I think I had a different mini warmer, um, in my cart. I put four of a different one in my cart for teacher gifts. And then I was like, I saw that one further down. I was like, that's a much better like Christmas teacher gift. So I grabbed four of those for $4. It was also like a dollar cheaper than the other one. Anyway, you can't beat that deal. It's a really pretty warmer. Again, I'm going to put a picture in here so you can see it, but very pretty. Um, so I did end up with a very snowy spruce dish soap, which I'm very excited about. It smells really good. It smells like very snowy spruce. Ugh, I love it. I need to get some very snowy spruce in wax. Um, I might have some, I don't know, but yeah, this smells amazing. I don't even know how much this was like two or three bucks, something like that. I was looking forward to the autumn road trip, but like I said, it hopped out of my cart. That's fine. I know Lisa Roberry mentions a lot that she puts the pump from the laundry liquid on her dish soap. I don't think I have a pump. I haven't had laundry liquid for a while. I'll have to check, but that is a good idea. But either way, I'll get use out of that, obviously. Um, I grabbed, I don't know why, I only grabbed one of these. Um, honestly, I don't remember how much it was, but I grabbed a Coastal Strawberry Room Spray. I just love this scent. Oh, it's so good. To me, it's like a perfumey strawberry, but it's like... It smells like a realistic strawberry to me, but then it has like this sweet musky kind of scent with it. It's so good. I probably grabbed just one of these because I, I will probably use it to like spray my clothing in the summertime, springtime. Um, I just really love that scent. But I did grab a fragrance mist in sandalwood tangerine. Again, I think this was like two or three bucks, um, and I have sprayed this, and it smells really good. I had this in, I had the wax in my club, and I think I took it out, and I regret that because it smells so good. I really like the fragrance mist, though. Ugh, ugh. Oh, man, that's good. I should have grabbed more than one of those. And then I grabbed a Scentsy Fresh and Cucumber and Cactus Water. This was, again, two or three bucks, so I figured I would just grab it now and have it on hand for next spring and summer. Um, I had, I also had this box in my club and took it out. I probably should have left it in. Maybe it'll show up in a flash sale at some point, but my husband likes the scent, so I figured I could use it, like, on our bedding and stuff. For that price, you can't beat it. I love Scentsy Fresh. Okay, then I grabbed three of these um, Scentsy Bitty Buddies in Silver Bells. It's a little reindeer. Ugh, I love Silver Bells. It smells so good. It's just like a earthy, like an earthy minty kind of scent. Um, 
Like I think it might have amber or something in it. I don't know. It's really nice. He smells so good and look how cute he is. I don't think I picked him up when he originally came out. So I grabbed three to either give to my kids for Christmas or um, my son, my youngest son, he has some friends that live on the block. So I thought maybe either my kids or his friends would appreciate these as just like little Christmas gifts from us. So grab those and I think they were like two bucks each. Maybe, I don't, maybe not even that much. I don't remember. And then I grabbed three of the Frankenstein buddy clips in the Caramel Apple Crease fragrance. Again, I think I'm going to do like a little, I'll probably do them with you guys today. Um, just like a little Halloween gift for my son's friends that live on the street. Uh, it smells so good. I do have another one of these um, because I got one for myself in another flash sale. But I think they were less than, I think they were like $1.80 or something like that in this flash sale. So there's what he looks like. Super cute. Um, so yeah, I'll probably either give these to my son and his friends or just give these to his friends. I do have four though, because like I said, I have another one. So maybe we'll do him and his friends. I don't know. Okay, so the rest, well, no, I have some, I was going to say the rest is wax, but it's not. I have some sensor bowls. So this first one that I picked up is coconut oil and linen. Um, I had never actually heard of this scent. I don't know if it's from another region, but it sounded lovely to me. So I just picked up a sensor bowl to try. I'm not going to open it now, although I really want to smell it. <laughs> But I, oh, I think I just got a little hint of coconut oil. Yeah, I don't want to open it now. I'm going to save it for spring or summer. Um, but I'm just interested to smell it. And I wonder if it's a scent that we're going to get at some point. I don't know. We'll see. If you're in another region, let me know if that's a scent that you've had because I've never heard of it. Um, and then I just grabbed three Black Forest Pine scent circles. This is one of my favorite scents. I have the room spray in our car and I spray it every time I get in because I love that scent so much. All right, then I picked up some pods, the, the what are these called? Two pack pods, whatever they're called. Um, Scentsy pods, I don't know. Um, so I grabbed well, my mother-in-law had texted me the day before the flash sale and she was like, can you order me some Scentsy Pods? And I said, there's a flash sale tomorrow. If there's any in there, I'll grab those. She asked me for like cinnamon bear and something else spicy. Um, but I was like, I'll see what's available in the flash sale. If there's anything cheap, I'll grab some of those. And if you don't want them, we can just order your scent, your pods when I put an order in. Um, but they had some that were $2. I think these were all $2. So I grabbed toasted acorn and oak. And this smells really good. I melted the wax not too long ago. And it's like this creamy, nutty kind of um, woodsy scent. I don't know. I really like it. If she doesn't want these, I'll be happy to keep them because it's just a really nice scent. I don't know why I didn't catch on to that sooner but yeah I really like that and then I also grabbed mulled cider and spice for her um, because she does like spicy scents this is really nice too I feel like I like all of these better in the pods than I did in the wax although I liked the toasted acorn and oak in wax but I don't know these all smell kind of better to me in the pods yeah, that smells really good. So again, if she doesn't like that one, I'll be happy to keep it for like Christmas time. And then the last one I picked up is Mighty Pine and I picked this up for myself. I think I did have this one last year. It's really nice. It's just a really ugh, like fresh, almost astringent pine scent. Oh man. 
Yeah, that's good. Um, that will go nicely with the Black Forest Pine in the car too. So really, really like that. And then for the wax, I picked up some, well, first of all, I picked up some ghostly greetings, just two of them. I've mentioned before, I love the scent. It's one of my favorites. It's just this dark, fruity, like plum, grape kind of scent. And then patchouli is what I get. And it's so good. I'll probably melt some of this today on Halloween. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I think I only have like one or two bars left in my collection. It is my club. That's why I only picked up two in this flash sale, but I love it. My mom loves it too though. And one bar in my club, my quarterly club isn't going to cut it. Um, but anyway, ghostly greetings. I forget how much they were, but they were super cheap. Um, and then I grabbed four of the just for you bars just oh my goodness, probably just shook you guys just for you get it anyway i grabbed um four of these to go with the teacher gifts the warmers um but then when i got my order i smelled this and it smells so good I know I melted this when it was originally out and I feel like I wasn't like in love with it. I don't know if my nose has changed or what, but smelling this on cold, I'm like, I might have to find some other bars from my stash to put with the teacher gifts because this smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Just what is in this? I feel like I'm getting... I have to keep at least one of these bars and it'll be this one that I'm like rubbing my fingers all over. I don't know. This almost smells like blackberry and fur to me. It's just like so fresh and like clean kind of. Mmm, I really like that. I, yeah, I'm gonna have to, um, keep at least one bar of just for you and then put like find other bars in my collection to put with the teacher gifts or just order different bars anyway and then the last thing I picked up was two bars of almond croissant I love this one I know it's a very loved scent and everyone was upset when it left the catalog or it didn't come back um, for this fall and winter season. Yeah, it's really good. Like, I can't believe this didn't come back. I guarantee if they're, um, if it's offered for voting and I bring back my bar, I guarantee this will come back. It's so good. So I only grabbed two bars, um, just because I don't, typically I don't tend to reach for bakery a lot, but recently I have been. And I know that there's people who absolutely, absolutely love this scent, like, and they're bakery lovers, and they would probably melt it, like, way more than I will. So I only grabbed two bars. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's definitely almond, and it doesn't lean cherry. It's, like, nutty almond. And you get this like warm, flaky, pastry kind of note. And I almost get like powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. But like I said, I only grabbed two bars because I figured... Just throwing everything at you guys today. Grab two bars because I figured I won't melt it as much as other people will and i really do believe that will come back and bring back my bar if it does i will probably stick it in my club because like four bars a year i can handle um i don't know that's such a good scent i'm gonna melt that soon it's so good but that's everything that i got in this scentsy order let me know what you guys picked up um if you ordered in the flash sale i mean it's like a decent amount it's not 
there there were so many good things available at crazy low prices I could have gone insane during that sale I mean I didn't need all this but like I said most of it is actually gifts so I don't feel super bad about it um, very happy with the wax pickups speaking of pickup um, but yeah it was a good sale let me know what you picked up um, I'm gonna turn this off for a second and figure out what we're gonna do next and I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes okay we're in the kitchen now oh shoot I forgot I have that music on I have just my Halloween playlist playing let me see if I can pause it while I have this on okay <laughs> because um, I just tend to get more done faster um, when I just turn music on and don't have like YouTube videos on so anyway I think I'm gonna eat something and then get the kitchen cleaned up and then get a shower and do my makeup for the day and then um, I need to take the jack-o'-lanterns out on the porch. I need to get my kids' Halloween buckets put together. Yeah, so hopefully I'm not forgetting a bunch of stuff that I need to do, but I know I need to get those things done. Um, so I'm gonna put the toaster away first and then I'm gonna eat something. It's 10.35 right now. Um, I usually just have like coffee in the morning and then I start to get hungry around now, but I don't want to eat breakfast. I'll show you. I'll show you what my obsession has been lately, my food fixation. Okay. So for the last couple weeks, my obsession has been um, gluten-free crackers, table crackers that I found at the grocery outlet for 99 cents so I like stocked up because this is all I've been eating for like breakfast lunch brunch every day um, these table crackers with extra sharp cheddar cheese and then for the first couple weeks it was these sweet and spicy chips these are so good I go through a jar of these like every two days but I also found these at the grocery outlet for 99 cents so I was doing the crackers the cheese the pickles but then I went to Trader Joe's with my mom the other day and I found this red pepper cranberry and walnut dip this is so good so I've been doing the crackers the cheese and this dip it's so good if you have a Trader Joe's go get that dip and eat it like this or just eat it however you think it sounds good it's so yummy I'm gonna go eat these um, not just three of them I'll, I'll do more but I just wanted to do some quick to show you um, I'm gonna eat these and then I'm gonna clean up the kitchen so I'll come back to you when I'm done eating okay change of plans because I realized that I forgot to send my son's snack for his classroom fall party today um, with him to school so I just got a shower quick and I think I'm gonna curl my hair quick so I don't have to do that later and then I'm gonna run his snack over to him okay I think I am going to take these jack-o-lanterns outside now um, we did them Saturday night and obviously it's Halloween today but I wanted to wait until today to put them out because as soon as I put them out, the squirrels are gonna start eating them. <laughs> so I'm gonna take them out now and this is just a pile of stuff that I want to use for my Samhain altar that I still haven't set up yet. Anyway, I'm gonna take these outside now. Okay, got the jack-o'-lanterns out here and it's raining. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't rain for trick-or-treat tonight, but there they are. My hair is a mess, but um, I just got back from my son's school and I picked up a Duncan on the way back. But I wanted to show you guys, hold on, before I mix it up, 
just in case you haven't tried it yet, I got the peanut butter cup macchiato. It's pretty good. Um, but I just love the, the super orange bottom. It's one of their Halloween drinks. Well, I think it's the only Halloween drink, but um, I usually get the pumpkin spice latte, but I figured since it's Halloween, I would get the Halloween drink, but I'm about to mix it up because it's, in my opinion, not good unless you mix it. It's good. It is peanut buttery chocolatey, coffee. It's good. All right, I need to pick out some wax. Um, I think I'm going to put Ghostly Greetings in the living room, dining room, entryway. Um, Ghostly Greetings from Scentsy, but I want to pick something out of my Midnight Daydream stash. I don't know what this drawer looks like, so don't judge me. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, so I have Britta's and Midnight Daydream in this drawer together. So I want to pick something out of Midnight Daydream because I just love his, like, Halloween and fall scents, and I'm so sad that I can't get any more. <laughs> October 31st and Pumpkin Patch are two that he didn't give us the notes for but they're both really really good so I'm gonna keep those two out um, probably put one in the kitchen and one in the back room maybe but I definitely want to put ghostly greetings through the living room dining room entryway so let me go grab some ghostly greetings all right got ghostly greetings Let's go put it in the warmer so i tried to like break it up inside the clamshell but it doesn't always work out super well if you watched my warmer tour you would have already seen all my warmers obviously but i love this little jack warmer okay i might have to put you down because it's gonna be difficult to get the wax out one-handed hold on all right, I emptied Ghostly Greetings into all the warmers down here, well, out here, um, and then in a minute, I'll go put the other wax in, but I need to clean off the dining room table. Why does this keep shrinking? Uh, I need to clean off the dining room table because I just took those jack-o'-lanterns outside and there is like pumpkin residue all over the table. So better um now i want to put the table runner and the other stuff back on here okay and now i think i'm gonna get my kids halloween buckets together and then probably go get my makeup done. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do because I did clean up the kitchen a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I did wanna put some food in the crock pot. Okay, let's do their buckets, then get the food in the crock pot, then can do my makeup. <laughs> okay, I got the stuff for my kids' Halloween buckets, so I'm just gonna show you what I'm putting in them. Um, they each have different things. So I actually got these at Trader Joe's the other day. Um, my son was with me when I got them, but he asked to get them, and I was like, I'll put them in your Halloween bucket. So <laughs> those sour jelly beans from Trader Joe's will go in this. This is my 10-year-old's Halloween bucket, um, or basket, or whatever you wanna call it. And then I found this puzzle at TJ Maxx for him. It's a Halloween parade in New York City, which is just perfect for him because he loves New York City. He loves Halloween and he loves parades. Parades. Puzzles. 
Um, so that was perfect for him. I'm sticking this slappy mask in here. I picked this up for him because I thought he might want to be slappy for Halloween, but he picked out another costume, so I'm just going to stick this in his Halloween bucket. I got him some ghost dots. Um, this is just a little puzzle. I think it's like a skeleton puzzle. I got this at Dollar, no, the Dollar Spot at Target a few years ago, and I keep forgetting to put them in their Halloween gifts, so I remembered this year. Um, a little glow-in-the-dark Kinder Joy. I got that one dented somehow. And then some orange Tic Tacs. And I also got him this sign, but I don't know if I'm going to put it with his Halloween stuff or just um, hold on to it until I like redecorate his room because it's definitely not going to fit in his bucket. Um, yeah, so let's see. And then I also didn't know if I wanted to put some like spider web in the bottom here, but this is what his bucket looks like. I just picked these up at Dollar Tree super cute okay so I'll do it this way I guess yeah I don't know I might need the I might need the spider web or maybe not maybe I'll just put the smaller stuff in the bottom and then just like stick this in like that and stick It doesn't need to be perfect, they're just gonna rip everything out. So there's his. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and not worry about the spider web. So I just got the mail, well the mailman just dropped it off, threw it in the door, um, and I wanted to show you that this just came from the vet that we took um, cash to last week to have him euthanized, um, but they just sent this card and then they sent us his paw prints, which is really nice. We were hoping they would, they didn't really say anything about it. and when you're like in that situation, you're not really thinking about it. Um, but then afterward, we were hoping that they would. Um, and then this is his little nose. So really grateful that they did that. I have to show my mom those when she comes over then.
Oh, Bath and Body Works has candles $12.95 today. Uh, it doesn't matter because you probably won't see this today, but I have a 20% off coupon and I'm like really trying to convince myself not to order. <laughs> Let me know if you ordered in the $12.95 sale. Is that good? Okay, I'm getting the crock pot out. I could probably actually just sit you over here on the stove. All right, got the crock pot out. How many times can I say that? I'm just reassuring myself that I got the crock pot out. Um, I'm gonna make a soup, some, a super quick recipe. Um, I'm just gonna make some meatballs in here, some like jelly meatballs. So I just have two jars of chili sauce that I'm going to put in here. All right, I'm lying in the crock pot because I do not feel like scrubbing this tomorrow. I also have a bunch of recycling back here that I need to take out. But I don't know if it went yet because our recycling bin was full. lined the crock pot and then I'm just going to put like I said two jars of chili sauce in here then I'm going to put like a cup or a little bit more of um, strawberry jelly you can do whatever jelly you want they didn't have grape they didn't have raspberry when I ordered groceries so I just got strawberry um, and I'm going to just put probably about a cup in there I usually get a small jar of jelly and I'll put that in and then I'll fill that up with water and put it in. So I'll probably do about a cup of water. Hopefully that's enough. Stir that up. Make sure the crock pot is on. Yeah, and then I just cook it on high for like It'll probably, probably be done in a couple of hours. Um, but I'm gonna put these Beyond meatballs in there. Obviously, if you eat meat, you can just use regular, regular frozen meatballs or Mahiro meatballs. Typically, I make my own meatballs with the Beyond meat, ground meat. Um, I'll make my own meatballs and put them in, but these were a grocery outlet for like $3, so, and it's two, packs of them um, so this just makes it even easier so I am just I used these last time and it was pretty good even though they're Italian style they're still pretty good with the jelly and everything so. just make sure they're all in the sauce and then I'll come back in like an hour and stir them to make sure that they're like marinating but they're pretty much done as soon as the meatballs are cooked through later when it's time to eat i'm gonna make the kids this halloween pasta to eat theirs with um and i'm also gonna make like little mummy garlic bread things but i got these for the kids and then well, my husband can have these too if he wants, but I have gluten-free noodles to make. Um, and then we just eat it with the noodles and peas. It's really good. Okay, so that's all done. I think I'm going to go do my makeup now and try to get my hair done. Maybe get my costume on. Hello everyone, today is the day after Halloween. Um, Halloween just got too hectic, obviously, like once the kids got home from school, I just didn't even have time to like record anymore. Um, so I figured we would continue this vlog today. Um, first I need to find my glasses, but I wanted to show you what I'm about to eat because I'm starving. Um, I, oh, and I just got a shower, so. 
That's why my hair looks like this. Um, but I'm about to eat some caramelized onion dip from Trader Joe's. I have an obsession with, can I sit you here maybe? I have an obsession with Trader Joe's dips. It's like an issue. I want to get all of them every time I go there. Um, but this one is one that I always get, the caramelized onion. They do have a vegan one too. I got that one last time, but I just, I just wanted the original this time. So I just got the regular and I'm just going to eat it with some tortilla chips, I think, because they didn't have any veggie chips when we went. I haven't seen those like the last two times that we've gone. Um, I love to eat the veggie chips with this caramelized onion dip, but they didn't have it. So I'm just going to eat it with something else. I'm starving. It's like 10, 15 now. Um, I had two cups of coffee and I haven't eaten yet. So I want to do that. I should plug my phone in too. But like I said, I need to buy my glasses. Um, so pretty much spent the day yesterday cleaning up the house until it was like time to get ready for trick or treat and everything. Um, and it's destroyed again. So I'm going to clean up the house again. Um, I might run out with my mom for a little bit. I ended up not even setting up my Samhain altar yesterday. Um, so I'm probably going to do that today. I like to leave up my ancestor altar through Thanksgiving until I put up my Yule altar, um, which I probably won't put up my Yule altar until in December. So I usually leave up my ancestor altar until then. So it's still, I'll still have plenty of time, um, to like have it set up, but I usually like to have it done before Samhain <laughs> and yeah, I just didn't get to it. So I need to clean up, get that set up. Um, and I don't know what else today, but since I didn't end the vlog yesterday, I figured we would just continue a little bit today. So we'll see what we do.
Hello friends, it is now Friday. <laughs> um, this week I just ended up feeling like absolute garbage, so I'm just now getting back to this. I think the last thing I recorded was on Tuesday. We went to Target on Tuesday. I think that's the last thing I recorded. So I wanted to pick up the camera today and just do like a final day of this vlog. Maybe if I continue to do these, I'll do like weekly vlogs rather than daily vlogs um, because that seems to work better for me. Um, but I was going to show you some things that I picked up this week. I did get a few things when we were at Target. I got some stuff from Walmart today, the thrift store, and I was going to show you what my mom gave me for Halloween. Yeah. So we're in my bedroom right now. It just worked out this way to record in here. Um, don't mind my hair. Just got out of the shower. So there's that. Um, yeah, let me sit you down and show you. Let's see, can I sit you here? Will that work? That might work. Um, let's see. I think that'll work. Maybe move you back a little bit. Is that better? Okay. Anyway, let me show you what I picked up. I'll show you first what my mom got me for Halloween. Um, oh, I already forgot about this. Um, she got me The Shining on Blu-ray, but she said she really got it because this little Jack Torrance Funko guy is in there. He's so cute. Um, I also have, I forget if she got me, I think she got me this for Christmas either last year or the year before, but she got me this like custom Jack Torrance Lego guy. So I'm super pumped about this little mini Funko. He's so cute. And yeah, I don't think I have The Shining on Blu-ray, so I was happy she got me that. She grabbed me a box of Count Chocula because you can't find it in the stores anymore, so she was just like grabbing me some anytime she saw it. Um, oh. This guy. She got me a little like mystery keychain pack of like the universal monsters and I got the black and white Frankenstein's monster which I love I love that um and my husband actually ended up getting the green one in his so we both got Frankenstein yeah they're pretty cool um oh this little hocus pocus key was like tied onto the bag. I love that. What else? She found these like mystery universal monster things. I think she got them on Amazon. Um, and mine had, why do I only have one thing? I don't know what else was in here. Maybe one of these was my husband's. I don't remember, but I got this Frankenstein keychain. So I was pumped about that. I love Frankenstein. I feel like maybe I have two of those. Did I just have one? I don't remember, but she had it in this really cute bag. Yeah, so we do gifts for Halloween. Well, my mom does. Um, she does gifts for the kids and the grandkids. And then I do gifts for my kids, which you saw earlier. And this was the last thing that was in my bag. It's the Disney Hocus Pocus spell book. Where's that music coming from? Um, it says a guide to spells, potions, and hexes for the aspiring Salem witch. So that's really cool. I never even saw this, but yeah, it has, Wow, well, there's like recipes and spells and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to close this window because there's music coming from somewhere and it's really distracting me. Okay, so that's what was in my Halloween gift from my mom. Um, and then 
I did end up picking up some like Halloween clearance. First of all, I found some stuff at a local grocery store. I just grabbed these bats, dimensional bats, um, because you can never have too many and they were 75 cents at the grocery store. So I got some of those. And then these cups, I was eyeing up like all season long. <laughs> And I think they were only like two or three bucks, but I was like, you know what? I don't need them. But then they were on clearance for 75 cents a piece. So I got them. They're pretty cool. They're like, oh, what is that called? Like lenticular? Yeah, lenticular. Um, but I loved the design on them. I think it's so cool. So now we have these for next Halloween. Okay, and then from Target, I did record a little bit of what we saw at Target. I'm like sliding off the bed. Um, they had some Halloween clearance. They had a little bit, well, they had a bunch of Christmas stuff out, especially in the dollar spot. So I think I grabbed maybe just one thing. I don't remember, but I did grab some Halloween clearance at Target. First of all, these black... Christmas trees, um, which I will use for Christmas, but they were in the Halloween stuff for $5, so they were 50% off. Two fifty. dollars I probably should have grabbed a couple of these, but I didn't. But I did grab a couple spooky trees. They're just like smaller ones. They were $5 in the dollar spot, so two fifty dollars again. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they have gold glitter on them, which I love. For my living room grab two again i should have grabbed more because you can always use these to just fill out your decor um yeah they're super cute i should have grabbed more i never I, we went to a different target the target that i go to like weekly didn't even have these this year so i never even saw them the dollar spot at the target that i usually go to is like not good at all um, I grabbed these stir sticks. They're little ghosts. I just grabbed them because they were a dollar and then 50% off. They're adorable. Got some 30% off Reese's ghosts. Stick them in the freezer. I grabbed some little Halloween orange Tic Tacs for my kids because they go through these like nobody's business um okay and then I think yeah this is the last thing from the target clearance this boo pillow how freaking cute is this though I'm gonna put this in the living room next year I love this so much I love the colors I love like the font they used I just I love this and when I went to the store with my mom I had this in the cart and then I put it back because when I scanned it on my phone, I was like, it's not 50% off. It's only 30% off. So I was like, mm, I'm going to put it back. And then my mom came over later and she was like, I got you this pillow. It was actually 50% off. Um, so she went back to the store and got me the pillow. And I love it. I already had it sitting in the living room and it looks so freaking cute. Um, okay, is everything else? Well, I have a couple... Christmas items that I picked up from the dollar spot. First of all, I just grabbed some of these little like note cards. Um, I usually get these for like to send out for my Scentsy customers. Anybody who orders Scentsy, I typically add these to their order with like a thank you. And my dollar spot hasn't had them for a long time. They're a dollar for 12 cards. So I usually just grab a couple packs. Um, I just grabbed one, but yeah, my, oh, I just realized that the other ones are just plain brown. That's okay. Um, my Target hasn't had these forever. I thought they just like weren't making them anymore, but I guess it's just my Target. And then I grabbed this cute candy cane banner. I love it. It's so cute. And I'm thinking um, when I redo the corner cabinet for Christmas. This banner will be super cute to hang. 
because I have some like Santa mugs and just Christmassy stuff that I'm gonna put in there. So that will be good for that. It'll be really cute. Hopefully you can hear me. I feel like I'm not speaking loudly enough. Um, okay. And then I just have some thrifted stuff, I think. Yeah. All right. So I just have a couple Halloween things that I thrifted this week. Um, I grabbed this really cute witch from Goodwill. I just, I love her dress. I love her color. Yeah, I couldn't leave her behind. She was $1.99. So I had to get her. I think they might have, no, she was $1.99. And then I grabbed this bag. They like to do this at that Goodwill where they like bag things together. And then sometimes you're like, oh, I want that, but I don't want that. And sometimes it's not worth it for me. But in this case, it was worth it for me. It was $2.99, but then it was half off, I think something like that. I think she charged me a dollar for this. Um, but I wanted the jack-o'-lanterns in here for my corner cabinet next year because I saw one had a date on it. At least one did. This one has a date, 1980. So they are vintage and I had to get them. Are these all the same? Yeah, 1980. I think they're all the same, but for a dollar or even for 2.99, that was worth it for me to grab the whole bag for three of these little jack-o'-lantern guys. Um, and then it just had like a glow-in-the-dark skeleton, like a cupcake topper that looks like it might have actually been in a cupcake. Um, this little, I don't know, bucket. And this bat is actually pretty cool. And he might be vintage. I don't know. I've never seen one like him. I don't see a date or anything. But yeah, I've never seen a bat like him before. So if you have, let me know. Um, hopefully that's showing up like the texture and everything. He might be vintage, I don't know. He has a vintage feel to him, but I don't know. He's pretty cool though, so happy to have him. And then the other stuff, I mean, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna keep the cupcake topper. I'll probably give this to my youngest son just to play with for a few days <laughs> before he gets broken, and then I could use that for something in their room or something like that. So, thrifted that stuff. And then today I went to a thrift store with uh, my best friend. Well, she had to go to Walmart. So I went in Walmart, and of course I got some wax. I'll show you. Um, but then we stopped at a thrift store, and they had some Christmas stuff. And look at this adorable little mouse lady. Oh my goodness. She is so stinking cute. And she was a dollar. She actually charged me $4 for everything in this bag. So, <laughs> um, but she was marked a dollar. Um, super cute. I love her. And grabbed this little Christmas ornament. It's vintage and pretty. So I had to grab that. I don't think she charged me anything for that. Um, what is this? Oh, I grabbed this little, I don't want to put that on the bed. I grabbed this little frame because I needed a frame to put one of Cash's paw prints in. I picked up this little Santa mug. I figured I could put that in the corner cabinet and that was marked 50 cents. Um, again, she charged me $4 for everything in here. Oh, I don't know exactly what this is, but I'll tell you what I'm going to use it for. So it's like this. And then, how much? This was marked $2. 
and then add the spoon in. <laughs> so the spoon goes like that. I don't know if this is like just a spoon rest um, or if it was like for sugar. I, I'm like, you couldn't put a lot of sugar in here. I really don't know. What I'm going to use it for is coffee. We always have like by our coffee pot, um, we just get like a random spoon every morning, stir our coffee, and then sit the spoon like on the little thing that the coffee pot is on. So, and then there's always like a coffee spot there. <laughs> um, so I figured we could just have this like designated coffee spoon. Um, and then I can just like rinse this out every day, you know? Because my husband's always like looking for a spoon for the coffee. <laughs> because uh, sometimes the dishes are in the dishwasher but they're not clean anyway that's what I'm gonna use this for but if you know what it is um, like meant for really let me know but I figured for two bucks that's what it's gonna be and then I think the last thing I picked up at the thrift store hopefully my mom's not watching this but I grabbed this for my mom because the last time I was there with my mom she looked at this we had already checked out and then she looked at this and i was like just get it just the registers right there just get it and i knew she was gonna regret it um she likes blue glass so her birthday is this weekend so i just grabbed this to stick with her gift and this was marked four dollars like on its own so she gave me a really good deal for everything <laughs> I was looking for like holiday, winter, Christmas wax. They didn't have much. I found a couple things and it was like randomly placed. Um, and like some of these aren't even winter, I don't think they're fall. But anyway, I grabbed this Yankee Candle warm and cozy scent. I don't know what the notes are. I'll have to look them up, I guess but the smells really nice warm and cozy these are not my favorite oh there usually they're so hard for me to get open yeah the notes aren't in here it just smells like really warm and comforting like slightly cologne but like super warm mm, that's really nice let me know if you've tried that one before or if you know what the notes are um, then I grabbed this Sensationals Fallen Leaves. I've never tried this one before. I've had the other leaves one from, is it Better Homes and Garden? Better Homes and Gardens. I forget what it's called. I've had that one. I've never had this one. This says Crisp Air Citrus and Wood. And this is really nice. It's really like outdoorsy, but I definitely get that citrus. Oh, yeah, I really like this. It's not like, so it's not like fallen leaves that you get in a lot of vendor wax. It's also not like leaves, bath and body works. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Oh, like really fresh outdoorsy leaves and citrus. I don't know. I really like that. So we'll see how that performs. Um, and then I have two from Better Homes and Gardens. This one is Roasted Chestnut and Acorns. It's Fire Roasted Chestnut, Acorn, Gingered Pumpkin, Hickory, Maple, and Tonka. Again, this is really nice. This kind of reminds me of like a Palo Santo scent. Ooh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me a little bit of Khaleesi from Teddy Bees or um, Gryffindor from Scentsy. It's kind of what this smells like to me. I'm going to have to compare them side by side, but that's really good. And then the last thing I picked up is Candy Cane and Citrus. So I don't think I've ever smelled this before. The notes are Peppermint, Vanilla, Winter Spice, Citrus, and Woodland Berry. Yeah, it's really nice. It's like a musky kind of candy cane scent. 
don't know. I like it. I It's like a different take on a candy cane. I can't get it out. I want to smell the bottom. There we go. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I really like it, though. I'm excited to try it. Yeah, that's good. Um, but I'm going to wait probably until after Thanksgiving. We'll see. But that smells really good. Is it focusing? I don't know. Candy cane and citrus. Really nice on cold. So that's everything I picked up this week. Um, not a lot, but when you put it all together, it seems like a lot. But some of that is gifts. Anyway. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you watched, if you stuck around this long, um, I enjoyed doing this. So maybe we'll do some in the future if you guys want to see more. Um, like I'm typically not doing a ton of exciting things, but it's nice to like bring you guys along and have company while I'm doing just like normal day by day, daily tasks, <laughs> things. Um, so yeah, we're going to redo my altar um and then that'll be that so thank you guys all so much for watching i hope you're all doing well and i'll talk to you all later bye